It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Over the last week, I've been reviewing, well, I've reviewed three of the different little Abbey de Von Cleur beers on the channel. If you want to take a look at the Blanche and the Amber, the Ambre, the Amber beer, have a look at those. They've been reviewed and released this week. Well, I might chuck this one out first. We'll see how we get on. Um, but I've left what I think is the best till last. Now, this was the same price, £2.99 for a 750ml bottle, cork and cage bottle there, and it's the Imperial Beer Blonde at 7.5% ABV. I'm super excited by this because I think... Now, initially... When I went to Lidl, I missed this. I missed it. I mistook it. I don't know why with a cork and cage, but it was put with the wine. It was in amongst kind of, you know the bag in bin where you get the orange stickers in Lidl. Everything's kind of reduced. They got a reduced section. Well, they had a few bottles of wine there. They had some uh, lemon sino stuff from Italy there and you know, you can get lost in a supermarket sometimes, can't you? And, and, and I, I looked at and I looked again at Abbey de Von Clair. That's a nice bottle. Of course, it's it's one of the little beers. So if you can't find this bottle as of early November 2023, have a look in the discount section in Little, the, the, the orange sticker part of Little. And have a little look around to see if you can find a bottle of this. It could be magical. It could be magical. We're about to find out. There's the cork and cage top. Lovely, lovely striking bottle though. Let's, let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Oh, she's a tight one. Oh! Shocked me then. Right. Smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass. Look at this. Look at this. Doesn't it look wonderful? Look at that. Look at that for a beer. Two fingers, slightly off white head. Good levels of carbonation as the beer rises up the glass there. A lovely, lovely... What have they called? Beer blonde? They called this a blonde. Come on, little. Come on, you can do better than that. This is not a blonde, this is an amber. There's nothing blonde about this beer. So maybe then, maybe, I, I, I'm hoping, I got my fingers crossed, but already there's a problem. It's not a blonde beer, little. This is an amber. Good carbonation, let's get the aroma. Oh, it smells delicious. This smells absolutely fantastic. It reminds me of something that I can't quite put my finger on. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Right. Clever people watching the channel. Let me rephrase that. You're all clever. People who really, really, really know their beer on the channel. Stella Artois own... Oh, it's just come to my head. I'll carry on anyway. Stella Artois own a Dutch company and they look like their beers are in stone bottles. It's just come to me. Hertog Jam. This reminds me of Hertog Jam. The aroma. Everything about this beer reminds me of that stone bottled Hertog Jam. Sweet but fantastic ABV. You get that kind of little sense of the 7.5% rising up your nostrils.
it's very, very kind of, the hops they've chosen to use here, they, they, they're offering up a lovely, fruity, spicy, peppery, but sweet. You get the, almost like they, they've, they've added some kind of Belgian candied sugar, as, 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 as one brewer used to talk it. And we, we all know that is, um, it's almost like a glucose, isn't it? But it smells fantastic. I've got to dive into this one. Cheers, everybody. Oh. Carbonation. Pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth. This tastes like champagne. It's got that kind of highly carbonated... It's 7.5% ABV. It's got a, 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 a kind of a, a multi creamy rich mouthfeel to it. It is sweet. It definitely is sweet, but it's terrific. It's sweet and then it's instantly hoppy. Instantly hoppy towards being a spicy, peppery, fantastically hopped, like stinging nettle flavour coming from the hops on the back end. Fantastic balance, sweetness, bitterness, absolutely wonderful, absolutely wonderful. I just don't know though sometimes with little, I, I'm not sure if they rush things. Like, like who's in charge of Lidl's beer? sales who's who's ticking the box giving this the green light it's in a great black bottle with a gold label it's striking i really like it nice name for the beer imperial 7.5 percent they've done so much right with this beer the cork and the cage everything's right about the beer apart from the style They've got the style wrong. A blonde beer looks fundamentally like a light lager. If you're wondering what a blonde beer looks like, it looks like a light lager, but it will be kind of upwards of kind of 7.5% ABV. I don't have a problem with that. Don't have a problem with that at all. It's just calling it beer blonde. Whoever is in charge of Lidl's beer buying or kind of like naming or marketing departments of their beer department then they, they maybe just need to brush up on their kind of naming of the beers a little bit this really should have been called a double i think personally a double but the problem with calling it a double is that there's going to be less people who understand the word double. Maybe keep keep that imperial name in the middle, that big imperial name in the middle, and then just call it double. Be a double. You haven't got to call it blonde. The problem is, I know what they've done here. 90% of people who want to drink beer are generally kind of lager drinkers and when, when they think of beer they think of blonde beer they think of light beer i can see what they've done here a little but it's a mistake it is a mistake nonetheless the beer though for two pound 99 750 milliliter bottle is fantastic ignore the name ignore the style name crack on with the beer now uh Oh, again, though, no. again, this is what annoys me a little bit. Contains barley, wheat, oats and rye. That's all you get in English. Now, you've got to go down to the Spanish or the Netherlands ingredients to see that it does have uh, glucose in the beer. It, so, for some reason, the UK government... The law in the UK is that you don't have to put the ingredients on the back of the bottle. But other countries you do. 
So I can read another, let's read the Spanish then. Aqua, water, malta, malt, glucosa, glucose, as I mentioned earlier, and lupulo, lupulo extracto, so hop extract in the beer. Uh, produced in France. Oh, I, I, think, I think it's lovely. I think it's a really lovely, lovely beer. I'm going to rate it. I'm going to take a mark away for the naming of the beer. I think if somebody's bought this in the knowledge they're buying a blonde beer and they pour that out, they're going to be thinking, what's that? But again, 90% of the population, they won't give a damn. They won't care. They won't even kind of realise, if you like. So I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I probably would have given it a 9 out of 10. Probably a 9 out of 10 if it wasn't for the mistake. I, I still, I'm going to stand by my words here and say this is a mistake by Lidl. 8 out of 10 for the Imperial. Uh, maybe next year for Christmas they can sort that out. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.